Hey teachers, we're going to learn how to make videos for distance learning up next on Gifted Guzman. All right, so here we are together. We're going to be doing distance learning with our students while we're all on quarantine. And I bet you're probably asking yourself, well, how am I going to do distance learning? How am I going to talk to my students or get information to my students when I'm not in front of my students? One of the ways you can obviously do that is through a video just like this, one-on-one, -on -one, big screen, talking to them, giving a little instruction, which is great. But another way you might need to give information to the students is for them to be watching something while you're explaining it or looking at the screen while you're going over what they should be typing or what they should be writing or what the expectation is. So how do you show them the screen while you're taking a video of yourself without maybe turning your back to the camera and showing your computer, which is maybe kind of something I tried to do when I first started learning how to do this, <laughs> but you don't have to do that anymore. You can actually use software and it's called OBS, all right? So I'm gonna show you in this video how to go from start to finish on OBS and how to use it so that you can use this type of video where you're showing what's on your screen and you're showing yourself talking so that your students can see how to do this, all right? So I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna have to look down at my computer. <laughs> all right, so you want to make a video that's like this, where the student can see your computer screen. They can see what you're doing on the computer screen. They can see your mouse. You can see my mouse moving. And they can see you in the corner talking to them about what's going on. So the software that I would recommend that I learned about from my husband is called OBS. Okay, so you just click, type in OBS, hit enter, and it's the first thing that comes up. It's open broadcaster software, okay? Open broadcaster software, OBS. So you're gonna click on that link. That link is gonna take you to this page. Now you have to ask yourself, do I have a Windows computer? Do I have a Mac computer? Do I have a Linux computer? For this particular computer that I have right here, I have a Windows computer. So I'm gonna click on Windows. And now you should see down at the bottom right here where it is downloading the file that I'll be opening up so that I can use this software, okay? So then I just have to wait for it. And we'll wait and wait. Okay, I've waited long enough. It looks like it is ready. So I'm gonna click on it and it tells me opening OBS. So it tells me what it's doing. And then it opened on my other screen because I have two screens. <laughs> so um, it says, welcome to OBS Studio. And I'm just gonna click next. I'm gonna follow the prompt. Press page down to see the rest of the agreement. And I know we all read the agreement. Oh my goodness, it's so riveting, okay? Click next, then setup will install OBS to the following folder. So it's just telling you where it's gonna install it. That Unless you wanna change it, that's where it's gonna go. So I just let it go wherever it's gonna go. Do, 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 do. Now on this computer, this is my husband's computer that he uses for our YouTube videos. So it has everything that it needs already installed. Yours might ask you, like on my laptop, it asked me to install some extra ex extensions. Just say yes to those extensions so that you can use it. Because if you say no, you're not gonna be able to use it effectively, okay? Then when you're all done, you click on finish. Ta-da! And now it's finished up. And it's thinking. And there it goes. Okay, so now you have an auto configuration wizard. Would you like to run the auto configuration wizard? You can also manually configure your settings. So I wanna say yes, I'm just gonna let it do what it knows how to do because it probably knows more than I do. And then optimize for streaming or optimize just for recording. I'm, I'm not planning on streaming, so I guess it just depends on what you're doing. Streaming is when you're like running a live video, but we might be, I would say optimized just for recording, right? I'm looking at my husband because he's my tech guy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then it asks me video settings, specify the desired video setting you would like. Um, so I just say next because it's already set up. And then please enter your stream information. I'm not gonna be on Twitch. I will be on YouTube. I'm gonna have a YouTube, but I don't have any of this information yet. Um, just prefer hardware encoding. So I'm just gonna cancel that part because I don't, I don't need that part yet. What I normally do when I do OBS on my laptop is I create the recording it saves it as a video file, as an MP4, 
and then I just upload that video to my YouTube channel and I can show you all how to upload to a YouTube channel later when we're done with this, okay? Wow, okay, so now I just have a blank OBS and it's not recording anything, it's not doing anything. So what am I supposed to do to make it do something? You're probably asking. All right, so I'm gonna show you what to do next. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to sources and you need to tell the program what source to look for, what source to use so that it can record for you. So down here under sources, there's a plus sign. Plus means add, we all know that, we're teachers. So we're gonna add a source. The first thing you wanna add is some kind of video capture device, okay? So you're gonna click on video capture device. If you're on your laptop, that's the little camera that you can see up on your laptop. And if you're on a computer computer, you probably have some kind of webcam, all right? When you click on this, you can name it anything you want. I'm just gonna leave it video capture device. I, I don't need it to have any special kind of names, but if you wanna name it, you know, my little buddy or whatever, you can change that, okay? And then you just click okay. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna find the video capture device for you, all right? This happens to be my husband's streaming computer that he uses for our YouTube show, so it has several capture devices. You can see me straight on in this video on this computer, on this camera, and then I'm using this camera to show you how to add a different camera, okay? So you're gonna use whatever source and it'll show you. See how there's all these different sources that I could use on this particular computer. On yours, there may just only be the one capturing device and that's okay. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go here to resolution and instead of device default, you're gonna go to custom, okay? When you go to custom, you're just gonna type in the number one and it's gonna bring you 1920 by 1080, okay, 1920 by 1080. That's an HD resolution, so that's what you want so that you're getting the best picture possible. All right, so you're gonna click okay. Okay, to me, oh, that's me over there. Over there, over there, over there, over there. Okay, so then you see over here that this is scenes. All right, so this is scene number one, just you by yourself. And remember how earlier in the video I had just me and then I, I switched over so that you could see this view. So like this, I have just me and you can see me and then I can switch over and I can have another view. So maybe I need to talk to the students about something up close or I have something that I wanna show them on a demo before I show them something on the computer so you can switch between the scenes. Well then how do I make another scene? Hmm, well let's go do that. So you're gonna go under scenes and you're gonna go to add, all right? You're gonna add a scene and I'm just gonna name it scene number two and I'm gonna tell it okay. Now when I get to scene number two, oh, oh my goodness, I lost everything. You didn't, it's just setting up a new scene for you so that you can move back and forth between the two. So you're gonna have to come and add again, all right? So you're gonna add your video capture device. You already have it, so you're adding an existing one that you already chose and you're just gonna click okay and it's gonna be on there. Ta -da! Now, you can see me doing this already, but you haven't added this yet for yourself. So you need to add this for yourself. You need to add the source of your display, okay, of your computer screen. So you're gonna click on display. You're just gonna create it, okay? And then I'm actually going to be on this monitor right here, and I'm gonna say, okay, so I can see the display. And then I can move it so that it's small so that they can see me or I can do vice versa. I can move myself so I'm small, and then I can move this so that it's big, and then I can put myself on top. I just moved it so that I was on top of there. And so now I'm small in the corner, and this is big, and this is what the students will see. Now you're seeing screen and screen and screen and screen and screen because it's capturing all of that, so it's like inception. So I'm gonna tell you in a minute how to make the video so that you're not seeing just all of this. We're all there like that, okay? So, so far, we've set up this scene where it's just me, and then we've set up this scene where it's me and it's my display, okay, so that you can see both. There's one more scene that you can make um, that might be helpful to you. So you can add another scene, we'll go to scene three, say okay, and you can just add your display, all right? And you just choose your existing one again. We've already got the display, and so you choose existing. And so that's just gonna show the display. So if you need to show something, perhaps you were here in the corner and you were in the way of something that you needed to show on a website or on a document, you can get yourself out of the way and have a third scene. If you decide later that you wanna name these so that you remember what they are, you can right click on it and go to rename. 
And so let's say I just wanted this to be called my computer screen. Oopsie. I can't type today. Then I could do that. Oops, I caps locked. This is not my computer. And human error. <laughs> and then if I wanted to go to scene two and rename it, I could rename it me and screen. Okay. And then scene one, I could just rename it to just me. And that way, if it helps you, you can know the difference between them. So it's me or it's me and the screen or it's just the screen. Also, if you don't want to do that, this is just for those of you who are a little more advanced and you want to learn. If you don't want to make a third scene, you could just go to me and screen and then you could just click on this eyeball and the eyeball turns you off or turns you back on or turns you off or turns you back on. Okay, so it just depends on how you want to do it. The, these are the three ways you can do it that make it easy and you can switch between them. Okay, so finally, the big reveal, you want to actually start making your video, correct? So in order to make your video, you want to click on start recording. All right, I'm going to start here with just me and I would start recording. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know I said you could start recording, but you can't yet. And I just remembered that there's something that I did the first time I started using this that I don't want you guys to use. OBS is set up with a weird kind of file format. You know how there's like PDFs and CSVs and EXL and all of those types of things. And when you make a video, you generally want what's called an MP4. It's a type of video format. I don't know. I'm techie, but I'm not techie. So I kind of like know what these things are, but don't exactly. But I know you want it to be an MP4. So you're gonna come over here on OBS and you're gonna go to settings right here. This is the easiest way. You can go to file and you can go to settings, but it's right here. So I would just click on it right there. Now you want to go to output because I'm gonna put out a video with this file format that I need to then upload to my YouTube, right? So I'm gonna go to output and then right here where it says recording format, do you see that recording format? Right now it's an MKV. I don't even know what that is. And when I used mine before, it was an FLV. Don't know what that is either. But I do know what an MP4 is. An MP4 is great, okay? So I'm gonna choose an MP4 and I'm gonna apply that. And then I'm gonna tell it okay. And so now it'll know when I start recording, and yes, you're finally gonna get to start recording, then it'll know what kind of file to have, all right? So now it's time to start. Just gotta get started. All right, so here we go. We're gonna record, so I'm start recording. And then it just changes to stop recording, so that's how you know you're recording. And then you just say things, whatever you wanna say about stuff and things to tell the students. And oh man, I've talked, and now I wanna go and I wanna talk about my screen. And this is this over here. Oh, but wait, I can still see myself. I need to minimize, okay? When I minimize that window, then I can do this and I can talk I know I'm down here in the corner, but I can't see myself down in the corner, but I know that that's where I am. I know I personally move around a lot, but the kids are used to that. They know what I'm like, so that's okay. I just know what I'm doing, and it kind of throws me off to look at myself anyway, so I just prefer to minimize it. I can see the screen. I can show the students this is this, this is this. I just need to remember that if I'm showing them something down here, I may need to reopen OBS and show them just that screen so that my head is not in the way, okay? So I can bring it back up and then I can switch to this and then I can just be showing them that. I just need to take that out of the way and so on and so forth, okay? The last thing I wanna show you is you'll see this right here, the audio mixer, and it, you can see my voice moving up and I'm talking too loud and it's going down and I'm talking okay. All right, I we actually have a mixer set up. Again, this is this computer, but when I'm on my laptop, it picks up my voice just through the, the microphone and it's already set up so it knows to pick up and it can actually pick up the audio on your desktop as well. So if you have something playing and then I would just stop the recording and now it's in the mystery spot and I don't know where it is. Where did it go? Oh, video, video, where did you go, video? I don't know where you are. No, just kidding, I actually do know where it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open my file explorer. Now again, this is all Windows based. I don't have a Mac, so I don't know how to show you on a Mac, but my laptop is Windows based. So I go to the file explorer and I go to videos, all right? 
Now for me, it just goes straight into the video. So this is it. And start recording. And then it just changes to stop recording. So that's how you know you're recording. And then you just say things, whatever you want to say about stuff and things to tell the students. And oh man, I've talked. And now I want to go and I want to talk about my screen. And this is this over here. Okay, y'all don't need to watch that part twice. You've already seen me say those things. <laughs> so, but that's it. And then you, I would listen to it, right? Listen to it and make sure that it has good sound and make sure that you said what you wanted to say. Sometimes I practice a couple of times before I get on and say them. But for me, it's kind of like teaching. I know what I'm going to say. I've kind of already pre-practiced it. I've thought about it. I've been teaching for nine years already. So I kind of know the spiel by now of what I'm going to say. And so I just do it. I get in front of the camera, I try not to look at myself too much, make myself too nervous, I try not to listen to myself too much. The students are used to me, they know what my voice sounds like, they know what my face looks like, they know how goofy I am, so I try not to overly judge myself and then I just make the video. Now once you have the video, it's there, it's an MP4. So I'm going to show you in my next video how you can put this up on your YouTube page so that your students can view it, okay? Well, I hope you've enjoyed this journey, I hope you like this video and that it really helps you out. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below the video. I'll be glad to answer any of your questions and help you out with anything that you need. All right? All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Gifted Guzman.